welcome back to the show and yes we're about to meet our corporate game changer for today i can't wait i'm actually excited and you soon know why she is the managing partner at exmos F africa a firm that specializes in providing engineering and consulting services in the oil and gas sector she specializes in process and safety engineering. Her practice has taken her from the UK to the Middle East, Far East, and Africa in general. I'm excited. You know why? Because for once, oh well, not too many times, we see a woman heading an engineering firm. And today, I'm excited to have with us Abby Fasasi. <laughs> How are you? I'm fine, thank you. You look good. Thank you very much. All right. I remember in university, when you walked into a, an engineering class, mm -hmm. there will be like two women in the midst of 40 men. Yes. You know, and also it's obvious you are in a male-dominated industry. That's true. What has helped you rise through that? And I can imagine that for your position, there must have been men, so many men vying you know, for that space, and you got it. You are the managing partner <laughs> of an engineering firm. Yes. What has kept you, you know, above? Well, first of all, I've always seen myself as an engineer. I've never thought female or male. I'm just an engineer. So when I go in or I'm in a project, I'm there to deliver the best, the best of my abilities. And that has been my attitude throughout my career, you know, in the different parts. In the, I used to work in the water industry as well okay. in the UK. So it's just been that, open to learning and just taking one step at a time, but setting per personal goals for myself and making sure I reach those, those goals. You know, so basically it's not about female, it's not about male for me personally. It's about an engineer going into a firm and delivering the best. You know, I love what you said, that it, and I think this is so true for everyone. It really starts with how you see yourself. Yes. If you see yourself as, uh, as a female something, then you start to act like a female, and then people perceive you as a female. No, she's a woman, that's why she can. <laughs> but, you know, if you see yourself, I can do this. If everybody's doing it, I can do it. Then, you know, you, I think I, 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 that's, a, that's a good one. That's Thank a point you. there. Yeah, amazing. You have your secondary school in Adesoye College. Yes. Good. But right after, once you were done, you ha had to study abroad. So there was your A levels, your yes. university, and then you even worked for about 10 years yeah. in the yes. UK. Yes. But after staying there for about 15 years, and, and from our discussion, you had all your papers in place. You could have stayed there all your life. Yes. You packed your bags and came back to yes. Nigeria. You left the 24 hour light, 24 hour <laughs> transport, everything, the weather, everything. Yes. What brought you back here? Um, always. I just want to learn. I want to learn in different environments. Like you said, I had worked I had worked for a Middle Eastern company before. I had worked for an American company. I actually wanted to see how it was to work in a Nigerian environment because it's actually different. You know, working in the UK and working in Nigeria. For example, in the UK we are used to name, you know, name bases. I can call my boss Frank. But in Nigeria it's totally different. You dare not call your boss Frank. There's this uh, respect Master, thing. Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, so, yeah. you know, and also the oil and gas industry, I felt at the time I wanted to move was, was really doing well. I had the opportunity of working on a Nigerian project, the Baranubi project, and we were meant to come to Nigeria, but there were issues. So that actually, I felt, mm, Abby, you need to go back home. You need to go back and do something, make a difference in Nigeria. You know, let, let, let's see Nigerian engineers make a difference in their own country. So that's, that's what would I'm you thinking. say you prefer is based on your work experience here? I mean, I don't have to ask you what you don't <laughs> prefer because I can imagine there's a slew of things. So let's not go there. But what would you say has been something you would like, you'd say, I'm happy I came back, you know? About um, well, uh, the company I'm working, there seems to be this family. It's different. Yeah. Nigerians I, actually are warm. Yes. So it's, 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 it's totally different. You don't feel like you're a loner doing your work. There's like a little family. I mean, in Exmos, we have something called the Exmos family. So it's a group of people on WhatsApp group. You know, we talk about issues of life. Sometimes we pray together, you know, and it doesn't That's matter. Ninja for you. You pray together, Abby. Yes. I trust you people. But you know, it's... Well, yeah, you it's we need each other. Yes. Everybody can just be, you know acting like so yes i know that that Nigeria so it's the family you feel mm. you know that it's different than when i was working in the uk I there's mean. just this sense of 
I'm ah. not alone. Yes, I'm not beautiful, alone. Beautiful, beautiful. And that's so important. I mean, even considering the rate of suicide these days, oh, it, yes. it tells you that's a major need for every human being. Yes, it Knowing is. you're not alone. Yes. Amazing. You definitely lead a team. Yes, I do. I mean, you head your firm, you know. So <laughs> what, what would you say is key, are the key attributes you have, you've had to harness to lead a team? Because I know you lead engineers and non-engineers. Oh, yes. What are, what are key attributes? I think the very first thing is communication. Okay. You know, you need to communicate with your team members and also listen to your team members you know it's a two-way thing i always tell people it's a two-way thing if you're going into a company don't think it's the company doing you a favor mm -hmm. because you're going there with your skills and it's those skills you know when you put into a project that gets the company the profits thank you so much abby <laughs> in such a short time i've learned so much from you already <laughs> and you. go female engineers yes, i'm so yes. proud of you thank you yay Thank you for watching this segment. I'm so excited, as you can see. It's been nice chatting with Abby. I'm sure the engineers out there are like, go, 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 go. So she's not gone yet. When we come back, it will be game time between Abby, the engineers, and the comedians and Nollywood people. That's Abby going against AY. Let's see who's going to slay it. See you when we return. And of course, it's game time. Ay, are you ready? Yeah, game time. By the way, you're looking good. Oh my gosh, thank you. It's blissful, guys. Uh, 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 thank you. Uh, uh. <laughs> of course, I'm wearing the golden embellished wax fabric. And I love the geometric flower print. It's just gorgeous. So, and yeah, of course, it's right. blissful. Yeah, thank you, by the way, Eli, for it's the compliment. better on my wife. Oh, well, I don't know about that. But Blisco can hook her up. I'm looking for trouble. Blisco will hook her up. <laughs> Abby, are you ready to go head to head with AY? Yes. It's the engineers against the. I don't uh, head to head, are you ready? <laughs> yes, I'm ready. <laughs> All right, guys, so we're playing the song game. Ah. You will, yes, yes, you can do it. When you hear the word, you know it's really easy. It's love. What's now you're going to, it's a song game. So you're going to think of all the songs you know that have, that has love, you know, said in it. And you just give us that line. So we know that there's love in it. So it could be your lullabies. It could be your church, or church song. It could be any song. As long as it's got love, you know, just give us that one line. And you don't delay you don't, you know, we're just going to go and... Oh, you should have done your research now to find out if AOI can do anything around songs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. That's why it's going to be fun, guys. Okay. Are you ready? Right. Two seconds, think. Love. Okay, good. Love. I love my wife. I love my children. I love my child. Mm. I love um, my family. Mm. I'm sure you have songs now. Let's do this. Abby. I love you. Oh, you, you love, love me. AOI. <laughs> I love Jesus. <laughs> Jesus loves me. Why? Huh? Love song. Anything that has love, but you too. Yeah. You sang her song, so we want your uh, own. Okay, okay. Mm. And I, I have always love you. you. Abby. Love me, JJ. Hey. <laughs> Come on, girl. Hey, why? Jesus. <laughs> hey, why? You can do this. Give us a mm. song we love. A song we love. That has love in it. Um. Yeah. Why? You're running mm. out of time. I think Abby is the winner. Yes. And Abby is the winner, guys! Yay! <laughs> Abby won! And of course, you're getting a uh, gift from. There's something. Oh, there's oh, something. Oh, no, there's no. something. Let's do it you. again. Let's no. do it again. Oh, no, Congratulations, no, no, no. Abby. Thank you so You're much. <laughs> sorry, AY, next time maybe. Uh, sorry, I will take this off. <laughs> help, guys, help. Thank you so much for Thank coming you. on this show. Right, it's been great right. chatting with you, Abby mm, and AY. Mm. These are game changers, mm -hmm. and I know that very soon you will be mm -hmm. on this show telling me about your game-changing escapades. True. And don't forget, keep being the best in whatever space you find yourself. See you next time. Thanks for watching.